On the 23rd anniversary of the 1990 Oka crisis, people from Ganasadaga and other indigenous territories, as well as numerous non-indigenous allies, gathered to commemorate the anniversary of the crisis and to bring attention to the unresolved land issues that were the root causes of the 1990 standoff. The protesters also brought attention to their ongoing exploitation of land and resources on Ganasadaga territory, as well as future plans for pipelines to bring oil from tar sands in northern Alberta. Gather our minds together as one and acknowledge all our life givers. We start with first with our mother, the earth. We offer our greetings and thanksgiving to our mother who sustains us throughout our lifetimes and for generations upon generations has supported us as human beings. We gather our minds together as one and acknowledge our mother, the earth and give her thanksgiving and greetings. We are nations, we've never ceded any of our lands and that these lands are taken by force. Our resources are taken by force. It's, it's done through illegal means based on doctrines of superiority like the doctrine of discovery and Papa Gould's terra nullius. And this is what Canadian and American property law is based upon. So it's, it's time to change the status quo. Everybody else is evolving except Canada. And it's, it's the, well, one of the most developed countries in the world. Educate yourself on, on, on what the issues are, educate yourself on, on how this land, what Canada bases its sovereignty on, read some of the reports that the national Aboriginal organizations do, uh, read about uh, you know, the, the history which says that you know, we, we're allies of, of the Canadian and British population and that this land was taken by force, by, by hook and crook. And, uh, you know, we're, we're here to protect the environment. We're, we're, we're losing uh, the biodiversity, the ecosystems that we rely on for our medicines. We're losing uh, to development, for, for condo development, all because of what's supposedly touted as economic security, as energy security. Uh, it's, it's really about an illegal land grab that they use through coercion. Est-ce qu'on est intéressé par une société raciste, par une société d'oppression, par une société qui vise à éradiquer tout ce qui n'est pas payant pour une infime minorité? Depuis quelques années, il y a toutes sortes de mouvements qui éclatent. Le, les mouvements Occupy, les, les, les mouvements étudiants à les Carré Rouge l'année dernière, I Don't Know More maintenant. Alors, tous ces mouvements-là font partie d'une espèce de grande mouvance et on doit apprendre à collaborer le plus possible ensemble, on doit apprendre à collaborer le plus possible pour réussir à faire en sorte qu'on vive sur une terre, sur une so dans une société qui soit plus humaine, plus respectueuse des individus, plus respectueuse des collectivités, plus respectueuse de l'histoire et de la culture de chacun. Et je pense que s'il y a un autre projet que ça qui gagne, c'est tout nous, l'ensemble de la population qui va y perdre. Mais Au cœur de tout ça, toujours et en tout temps, on doit avoir la perspective des droits des Premières Nations, ici à Oka, bien sûr, mais aussi partout au Québec, partout au Canada et à l'échelle internationale. been missing and have been murdered in the past decades and the government is trying to forget about them. 2010 the government took away the funding from our sisters in spirit when we were doing such a great job bringing awareness to all our families, our friends, our people, our women, our children. So I didn't know what to do. They wanted to change the name. They said we couldn't use the name Sisters in Spirit no more. So I don't work for the government. I don't get paid by them. I don't work for nobody. I'm a family member. This is my mother. She was struck and killed by the Quebec police on my reserve in 2001. They said she died because she was drunk, not because she got hit by the car. The brother of the police that struck and killed my mother was in charge of the scene. This is pure conflict of interest. There was three forces there. They had the Certe de Quebec that struck and killed her. 
We had the native police that had the jurisdiction to protect the body and the scene, and this wasn't done. And we had the Montreal police that came in eight hours later. But everything was all done by that time. It was the brother of the cop that killed my mother that was in charge of the scene. How can this happen? I asked the government of Quebec for an independent investigation, but they said no, there was nothing wrong with the case. Well, there's something wrong. And I'm here and I want to fight for justice for my mother and for all these beautiful missing and murdered women. Except the dirty tar sands oil, because we're supporting uh, the First Nations around uh, Port Chipewyan. What I'm, I'm hoping is going to happen is that the community is going to get inspired and start thinking about Oka Park and all the other parts of our territory that's being developed without our free, prior, and informed consent, and, and put aside differences and work together like we did in 1990, because it's you know it's, it's the, the the little ones today and the future generations that we're doing this for.